Well, hello folks. Um, this is a more of a public service announcement. I cannot clear at this point in time uh, OCAM. I thought I could because it said it was a browser thing that came from, uh, it was triggered by the browser. Uh, then I find other things that say that it could be installed with free software. And like I said, the only free things that I've installed recently were XVID, um, X X264 VFW Codex, and then OCAM was auto-updated without my knowledge. I've since installed stuff after that free programs, but this error was happening um, before, excuse me a minute, before the, those were done. Had to adjust the microphone slightly. So this is what it is. I looked at it and I saw Freenum. It's actually freemium. And I still c I can find stuff about it online, but I can't figure out where it came from. I'm s going to continue to assume that it was OCAM. And uninstalling OCAM did not uninstall this program. Um, this is has something to do with something called software updater dot ui dot exe so you gotta be careful you don't get confused with the windows software updater um, some information that i found says that it's your, this is windows 7 computer 64 bit so in program files x86 there'll be in software updater folder so i found that there's no uninstaller uh, deleting this chances are it'll clone itself so we have to figure out where it came from and deal with it. If I do delete it, I would delete it probably after pressing F8 and going into safe mode and then delete it and then run Malwarebytes before it could clone. It shouldn't be able to clone or operate within Malwarebytes. Uh, the way that this works is it doesn't have a registry entry for updating. As you would expect, it doesn't have a service. It's very sneaky. It instead has something here in Task Scheduler. So you got to type in, I don't know where you find Task Scheduler. you got to type in, I never use it, so, so the Start menu and type in task, task here, and then you can look up Task Scheduler in the list. I've already deleted one of them, Software Updater, that was tied with this. And it gives information here, and I'll, I'll go ahead and go through the screens, and you can pause if you want to look at this. I'm just going to do this really quick click on these so you can see what's going on where it's at, the stuff about it. So to know for sure that I'm dealing with the right file, I go here and there it is, Software Updater under Program Files x86. So I'm just going to right click on this and press delete, and that's what I did with the other one. And then I have these other tasks, and I don't know what these are. Um, Okay, so there's a patch for the Witcher, something for an Exilisoft, another thing for the Witcher. So I can go ahead and I'll just disable these. I don't believe that they're going to be necessary, so now I've disabled them. I deleted the other ones, so I'm going to exit out of here. So some information on this in case you get infected with it. There is this page here that seems to tell you all about it. And that's where I figured out where the location of it is. There's this thing here. But this, I think, is trying to sell some kind of software. Yeah, it has some kind of removal program, so I don't recommend this. And then these are my searches. And I'm just about ready to go into safe mode then and delete this. So this is kind of tied in with my how to make a video tutorial series. This is one of the things you're going to need to watch for when you're downloading and trying free software. And OCAM is the most likely suspect as having caused this. I've run XVID on my computers for years and it has never put a thing like that. So I doubt it's XVID. It could be the X264 codec, but it's so small that I don't really believe that it could be that. Yeah, it's like one meg. So, those are the three suspects, the most likely, the most recent th things done, and I'm leaning toward it being OCAM still. Uh, I am going to check my browser and make sure in my add-ons that there's nothing in there. 
This is an example of what you will end up with if you install a toolbar. So you want to be very careful now trying to download any kind of free software because if you're gonna if you find a program that has a bunch of those check boxes you have to go through and check or uncheck as I mentioned before and sometimes unchecking them will install it it'll say uncheck this box if you want to install it so you have to be really careful and you also have to be careful uninstalling them because there might be check boxes you have to check or uncheck there as well um, so if you find a program that has a bunch of that it's better just to avoid it cam studio as I said after version 27 is that way and it's better to just be avoided and I think OCam might have gone that way. HiCam is definitely that way and there's a couple other programs that I can't think of off the top of my head that have gone that route. So I just wanted to warn you about that and, and make you aware of this program and I'll do a comment underneath the video or an update or something so that you know what I had to do to delete it because I'm not going to be using any removal tools I'm just going to be using Malwarebytes so my next step is to check my browser and after that I'm going to start into safe mode F8 then I'm going to delete that folder that I showed you I'll probably put a link to on the desktop and then I will run Malwarebytes in safe mode and uh, now I've taken out the, the, uh, the uh, update or scheduler so it can't sneak online and take care of anything and in safe mode it can't go anywhere I've also gone to my I have a Qualcomm Atheris um, thing I don't know if you have this for your software but I'm able to block programs and I've disabled it I blocked it here so it can't get online so that's something else you might want to keep in mind too is that, that if you have something like this that can find your running processes and decide whether or not to allow them online then you might want to block this I don't know what that kind of program would be called. I, this is the first time I've used something like that or I've had anything like that. It's part of my software with my computer, so uh, the hardware that I have. Uh, that concludes this public service announcement. Uh, you don't want to end up with this freemium thing. I might end up having to go back to a previous installation of Windows 7, but that's okay. I've created images of it, and I've gone through a lot of uninstalls and installs, so I wouldn't mind starting over if I have to. It's a blessing for me. You know, I like starting over from scratch. It makes the computer run better, I think. Although on this computer, it's hardly noticeable. It's a beast, but anyway, I will be back with a comment later. Well, hello, I am back. Hopefully I didn't wait too long to start that. I can't tell when this thing is recording. I get a flashing mouse cursor and then I know, but in this case it's not giving it to me. Uh, this is an update to the previous public service announcement video. These are the steps that I went through after I left you. I uh, went into Mozilla, uh, well I'm using Chrome, so it's Firefox based. Checked my add-ons. I had nothing there. Um, then I updated Malwarebytes. Then I rebooted the computer. Then I went while it was scanning with Malwarebytes. I also ran a program called System Ninja to remove junk files. I deleted the directory that I showed you in the last video. And then after I did that... I had gone through the registry and I removed everything and one of the things that I found that was rather promising see if I can show it to you here should be in here somewhere really you don't know how to open it with GIMP anymore nice So, I don't know how well you can see this. I'll try to zoom it in. I had this strange numerical entry here. And this entry was under, I um, can't remember what section, current user software. It was one of the software sections. And, and it was, the reason why it was promising, it had this pop-up message AP in there. 
So I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and delete that. But you have to be careful when you're deleting stuff in the registry. You could really screw things up. I know what's on my computer. I know what the various programs and software that I have running, what companies, where they came from. Uh, and even I mess up occasionally because they put stuff in the registry that's not the same name as what you installed sometimes. Or it's not clear enough, or you're not sure, or you don't remember very clearly. So I, I put I was at risk of damaging the computer, but that was okay because the computer, in my opinion, is already damaged for me, uh, having the malware on it. So I went ahead and did that. I cleaned out the registry entries, but I suggest you be very careful if you ever mess with RegEdit and mess with registry entries. Make absolutely sure whatever you're editing or deleting or doing in there. Uh, it's better and smarter to actually. Uh, make a way to restore it. There's a way to, it's a dot something file. I don't know if it works for Windows 7, but you can make a key that you could restore if it causes you a problem. But I don't bother doing that because if it causes a problem to where I can't boot into Windows, then I can't do it anyway. So there's no point. So I just don't even bother. I just, I just live on the edge over here. I can just restore the image if I need to. So I did that. I ran Reg Seeker which is a registry cleaner, and I ran and cleaned everything out of there, and I deleted the folder. So I did all my cleanup work, but I did nothing to, you know, no uninstaller type process. So we're going to go check really quick in Task Scheduler and in its location on C and see if we have gotten rid of this thing or not, because if I did not get rid of it, it will have duplicated itself and come back onto my system. Okay, you don't see it here. Remember, it was under uh, something, system something. It's not here now. There's no, nothing there. So that's good. So it looks promising. The next place that we can check is we could type in task here. This is what I was telling you to do earlier to find out where this is. And you can go on the schedule tasks link. And again, I don't know where that's hidden in the control panel. I, I should know, but I just started using Windows 7, so I'm not totally familiar with it yet. All right, and we have the same three entries that we've disabled, and that's doing okay. So it's, it looks as if it's not there anymore. I think I have managed to destroy it. But malware bytes failed. I need to be clear about that. Malware bytes failed. It did not find the malware and I had scanned immediately the first time that this happened and I saw that screen that I showed you I had gone through after I turned I pressed the X on the screen and that's another tip uh, some of these things more for browsers but it might work for some installers pressing X will actually run it through like if you clicked install they set up that way on purpose so you got to be careful so when I turned off the computer I just left that screen open I did not turn it off so just be forewarned about that. that. That's something that could happen to you. So anyway, I left. Uh, and the first time I did, though, I, I X'd out of it. And and uh, I ran malware. I had, I had updated malware. I had updated ClamWin. And I ran them both in safe mode. And they did not find it. So both ClamWin and malware bytes failed. But ClamWin is a virus scanner. It's not meant to find these kind of malware. But malware bytes, I'm disappointed that it has failed. So that means that now I have to find another malware scanning program. I prefer a scanning program rather than something that runs in the background because there's less system resources. So that concludes this update. Hopefully with this information, you can avoid this software. I think if you do not install OCAM, you stay away from Cam Studio version 2.7 and up and you stay away from high cam and you just try and generally stay away from if you open up an installer and it starts giving you these boxes that you have to click advance and you have to uncheck stuff and it just keeps going you know maybe one is okay but if there's a whole bunch of them and they just keep going and going I would just cancel out of there and not even finish the install and just find another program um, but I'll leave that up to you hope this helps